Hello everyone, welcome to American Life 365. On this channel, we posted a video of today's top 5 news about Trump's proposal to end the Social Security benefit tax. Many may naturally assume that Trump's proposal to end the Social Security tax is an effort to buy votes from seniors, just as the Biden-Harris student loan forgiveness is an effort to buy votes from younger voters. This is completely wrong. Ridiculously wrong. In fact, Trump's non-taxation of Social Security benefits is fundamentally different from Biden-Harris student loan forgiveness. Biden-Harris uses government power to cancel student loans from other taxpayers, you and me. Biden-Harris aims to buy electoral votes for themselves and their party. It's like a third party seeking favor from the borrower by forcing the lender to cancel the borrower's loan. Trump addresses the issue of improper taxation of Social Security benefits. Many seniors pay their fair share of taxes while hardworking. Taxing on Social Security resulting in double taxation on seniors. By eliminating these taxes, the proposal aims to provide financial relief to seniors who rely on Social Security as a significant part of their income. Social Security funds are basically used for their retirement life, and they are after-tax money. Why do the seniors have to pay taxes after retirement? This is double taxation on senior citizens. This is a punishment for the seniors. This is so cruel and unfair. This is absolutely wrong and must stop immediately. If Social Security benefits were not tax-free, American taxpayers would always be taxpayers. Taxpayers pay taxes before retirement. When taxpayers retire, they must pay taxes again on their after-tax retirement benefits. Pay taxes. Pay taxes. And pay taxes. Even after they die, they still need to pay death tax. This is so cruel to American taxpayers. The left opposes Trump's plan to end taxes on Social Security benefits. They are concerned about the fiscal impact of the proposal. Over the next decade, federal revenues could fall by up to $1.8 trillion. The proposal could accelerate the depletion of the Social Security Trust Fund between 2033 and 2032. Social Security Trust Fund depends upon revenues and spendings. Revenues require more and more of the workforce to return to work and not abuse benefits. Jobs must stay in the United States and be given to Americans, not illegal aliens who don't contribute to the Social Security Trust Fund. Taking jobs away from Americans is cutting off contributions to the Social Security Trust Fund. Spending must also be carefully scrutinized and responsible to ensure welfare programs effectively support those who truly need help while minimizing abuse. Illegal immigration leaves the United States facing a serious border crisis. Since December 2023, 5,000 illegal immigrants were released every day, causing an annual loss of $150.7 billion. Illegal immigration costs taxpayers billions of dollars, with each taxpayer paying approximately $1,156 per year. The Judiciary Committee and FAIR reports highlight growing financial burdens and increased encounters with illegal immigrants since President Biden took office. American taxpayers work hard all their lives just to pay taxes. Their retirement age has been pushed back from 65 to 67 or 68 years old, or even more. Why illegal immigrants don't have to pay taxes to enjoy free money and health care benefits from U.S. taxpayers' money. Welfare abuse and fraud are also serious problems. According to recent estimates, improper benefit payments, including fraud and abuse, account for approximately 9.2% of all federal benefit payments, totaling approximately $101 billion in fiscal year 2023. This is another about $1,000 every taxpayer has to pay per year. If spending is cut off for illegal and welfare abuse and fraud, there will be no issue on Social Security Trust funds. Americans have enough money to enjoy a retirement on time. It is important to address these issues to ensure that benefit schemes effectively support those in genuine need while minimizing abuse. If American taxpayers carefully monitored responsible government spending, 
the government would have more money to allow American taxpayers to retire early and live a decent life. People strive for five days of eight-hour working hours to enjoy more rest time. Now more and more countries are trying to reduce working time to three days to enjoy more rest time. Should American taxpayers deserve a no-delay retirement and decent life when they retire? American taxpayers are too tired. Give them a break before they die. It is time for seniors to end taxes on Social Security benefits. This time it's time to take care of the seniors. Now is the time American taxpayer voices must be heard. If you think this is something that has to be done, you have to make more and more people aware of this issue. Spread this awareness to more and more people. Show your strength in this November's election. That's what I'm thinking today. If you like this channel, please subscribe, share, and like it so that more people can hear this voice. Thanks.